So I just spent the last of my Christmas vacation uh, learning how to pee standing up. Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. So a few years ago, I went to a red carpet event and I wore a skin tight, almost mermaid, really form fitting dress. But to fit into it, I had to wear a lot of Spanx and undergarment supports just to like squeeze myself in. But because of that, I was just like layers on layers underneath including like a bodysuit that was like from my knees up over my shoulders, which if you're good at foreshadowing, you know where this is going. Uh, I had to pee, but in order to get to my business area to be able to pee, I would have to like take off my entire skin tight dress, take off my layers, take off my bodysuit, and that just wasn't going to happen in like a little tiny public restroom stall. So the Spanx I was wearing did have like a little slit on the inside. Let me see if I can find an example. So I couldn't find them. I don't go anywhere fancy anymore, so I guess I didn't, thought I didn't need that kind of stuff. But anyways, it's like really tight spandex shorts, and they did have like a slit where business goes. But it's like a tiny slit, and it's kind of overlapping, so nothing shows. So to be able to even open it, you'd have to basically use two hands to hold it open enough to make like a pee hole. But I had so many layers of things on, like, while holding the dress up so it doesn't fall on the floor or in the toilet. Like, I couldn't get my one hand to even get the hole open enough, big enough to go pee. Or to the restroom, what would be more politically correct. But because I was having this problem and didn't have a way to solve it exactly at the time, like, I didn't bring anything with me and I was in a public red carpet event kind of area. So it really made the rest of the experience a lot less enjoyable to me because I couldn't drink a lot of stuff and I couldn't eat the appetizers because I didn't want to make myself have to go because I, I couldn't get to it. So the rest of the night was kind of blah. And I was wearing like three and a half, three inch stiletto heels. So I was wobbly and just really uncomfortable. So I said to myself, never again, I will find a solution to this. So after this incident, I made like a plethora of different prototypes. Uh, like I made this one out of duct tape. It's supposed to be like a collapsible funnel that you can like put in your purse and like uncollapse and use and then throw away if you want to. Or it's still like, because it's not paper, you could use it again if you needed to. I did also try paper, but that's really like crumbly sounding and it was kind of a mess. I also tried using just like a plastic Ziploc bag. So you can put those in your purse, that'll be fine. But those like have a hard time holding structure and because it's a bag, like I just fill it right on up. And twice on a road trip, um, it wasn't like the tight dress situation, spank situation, but you know, like I needed to go and hadn't have anywhere to go and had to use something that was in my car. So twice I had used like a soda can and took my X-Acto knife or whatever cutting knife I had in the car and just cut off the top and just peed in the can. And once it worked, but the second time I had a lot more in me than 12 ounces and it just overflowed and uh, was almost completely useless. And dudes can like pee in water bottles, but for girls like... Your aim's honestly just not that accurate to try that. Uh, large soda cans, our large soda cups from fast food restaurants work pretty well, but they're pretty tall also, so you have to be like so high above them. And if you're trying to pee like secretly in your car, it's not really a thing. What I did find that works pretty well is just like trail mix jars. This is a, like a candy jar from Costco, but pretty much the same jars. And they're not too tall, but they hold a lot. So if you had to, I really have never used them more than once, but if you had to, there's space for it. And it has a lid, so you can put the lid on it and throw it away at your next trash can. But while those few um, emergency situation things kind of work while you're in the car, they don't work at all for going to parties or fancy events when you have like a little tiny purse It's this big. So I was still looking to solve that problem of finding something that I can put in my purse and hopefully something I can just throw away. And I have seen before that there's a main company called Shewees and they they make Shewees, which are basically like a female funnel that you can use to pee standing up, which I thought was really cool, but they're kind of expensive and I don't want to have to wash it out. Like I don't want to use it at a public restroom and then have to go to the sink and be washing out my Shewee. So if I was going to use something like that, I'd want to just throw it away or at least have something to like, I could fold it up and just put it in a bag if I'm like in the woods and then throw it away later. Which if I bought the expensive nice one, that's just really not an option. So back to when I tried making the duct tape funnel 
like, eh, kind of an option, but not really that great. So I started looking, so I started like searching this on Amazon, and I did actually find a few things. So one, I found one called the Emergency Disposable Urinal Bag. So this is what it looks like. It's basically like a bag that like the mouth is supposed to fit your business area, and then you can go in it, and the bottom is filled with a lining that's like diapers, like baby diapers that makes wetness into gel. So when, in theory, it wouldn't splash out. And I did actually have the opportunity to try these out well on a road trip. So I've been sitting in traffic for about the last 35 minutes with a pretty full bladder. Uh, but I'm traveling and on Amazon I bought these emergency pee bags, which I may have to use today. I'll let you all know how it goes. So update on using these emergency pee bags. This is not the same one. I have more. Uh, it did not go well. Luckily, I have a pee pad that I was able to put underneath it because it leaked. It leaked a lot. And even after this failure, I still tried it another time. And I had thought maybe, well, maybe when I used it, because I figured out it was leaking because it like had kind of closed up while, it was while I was going and it would just like overflow over the edge. So I tried the next time to make sure to keep the mouth open. But when you're squeezed, like, because I was like, in the little section behind my seat, in the back seat, like a little section you can squat down in. And when you're in that section, there's really not a lot of room to like keep opening up the opening of it. So it did it again. And so I never want to try using those again because they just don't work for me. So like the soda can had a better percentage of working than the actual professional uh, urinal bag. So I don't recommend those, but while I don't recommend those, I did find another product on Amazon that I am really excited about and is why we are here today making this video. So on Amazon, I did find the Pee Buddy. It's so you can stand and pee. <laughs> I like that it's really direct. So it's basically everything that I had wanted to make when I was trying to make my own prototype. Like it's thin, it can fit into a purse. I've even folded it smaller so it can fit into a smaller purse or in like your cargo pants leg or even like your back pocket that can fit if you need to and then it still just opens up and makes a nice little funnel and it's a big enough spot for your area that doesn't close up because while you're holding this like that's it's not really closing it's still open completely so basically the more you hold that angle the more it keeps it open so that worked really well so it does have a lot of positive attributes to it. There are a few negative things that I didn't really like about it. Like, I'm going to be real. I, I still recommend them, still like them. But uh, because of the design and the way the human body works and our clothing, it's not always great. So it works really great if you're wearing stretchy pants and can just pull down the front, stick this in, and have your pants down low enough that it's still at an angle you can pee at. But while I was wearing jeans, it didn't work as well because my jeans, like only an unzipped to like here well stretchy pants like you can put it down pull your pants down lower so it has a nice angle that you can get the liquid out through jeans the angle was up higher like I couldn't unzip them any further down without just pulling my entire pants down and then your butt showing and at that point you might as well just squat unless you're at a public restroom then it, it's still useful but it only lets you go that way and if you're just peeing like this, you really have to be able to like completely just lean your body forward so you can make the angle for it to drain out. Otherwise, if it's like this or like this kind of in my jeans, uh, it would just pull up in the back and then spill out over my jeans anyways and be pretty useless. So you really have to be wearing the right clothing to be able to use it unless you're just going to pull your clothing completely off. And then it still works to pee standing up but it's not privacy on the back. Like when dudes pee, you don't have to look at their butt. Uh, if you're not wearing stretchy pants or a skirt or something that you can pull down low enough, it really wouldn't work for you unless you like found a way to completely lean your body over. And at that point, it's really just more effort than it's you than it's worth. Also, I don't remember if I said this already or not, but it's it's a big thing. Even using these, you can't wait until you're about to burst because your body is just ready to go like it it wants to go and like you need time to fiddle around with your clothes to get this in there to use and to like get in the right position 
But if your body's like, as soon as you start unbuttoning your pants, like it's going, it's not really going to help you. Again, you'll have to like completely just throw your pants down and throw this in, but you might not even have time to get that in. So even with using these, you can't wait until like the absolute last minute. You still have to be like, oh, I have to pee. Uh, this is a good time. I should go and use it. But I do enjoy so much that they're disposable. And for the box of 40, it was like a little over $17. And um, Amazon says that it makes them like 43 cents a piece, which is way cheaper than any of the prototypes, <laughs> prototypes I could make. And uh, the box that I got also came with disposable bags which are basically little animal poop bags kind of thing. I love clean disposable bag, but you can also keep this like in your bag or my fanny pack when I'm uh, taking hikes. And so if you don't wanna just leave this in the wilderness, it is biodegradable, but if you don't wanna litter, you just put it in your little bag and it does seal up if you want to. But if I'm on a hike, I might have to use it again or at least use another one and put it in the same bag. So I probably won't seal it up, but still, like, that keeps, you're going to shake it off so there's not leakies in your purse anyways. And so, like, that's not too bad a thing if when I find the trash can, this is what I'm putting in the trash can. And my pants are dry because I didn't pee on myself. So, uh, yeah, plus, plus everywhere. <laughs> okay, so it did solve the original problem I had of, like, needing to be able to pee and uh, something that would fit up into the clothing spot of my Spanx to use and get that nice angle. So it solves that and being able to put it in my purse. But what it doesn't solve too well is still peeing in the car. Like if you're in the driver's seat, I thought like, oh, I could just put that there and like my pee will just go out. But because of like the angle, you either have to like take your pants off or completely pull your pants down, which if you have like a sweater or a towel to put over you, it's not a big thing. But, but it's still not easy. And then that clothes is still in the way in front of you. So you have to like be able to maneuver this in and then you also have to like be able to keep the angle to get it down in the bottle. So you still have to be pretty high and have the bottle down low and then it's such an awkward position and to be able to, let me, watch me show you. When you're trying to like hold the bottle, when the stream first comes out, it's like, see, so you have to be able to put the bottle kind of sideways, like pull it out so you can get it in. But then as your stream kind of weakens, like when you're almost done, well, it's working really now, but when I was actually in the midst of it trying, it's like you have that giant stream that's just pouring out. So you try to angle your bottle to get it all in there. But then as this bottle starts to fill up, you can't keep it at the angle because then it'll spill out the bottle. So you're trying to like pull the, bring the bottle down to an angle and it's still like kind of squirt. So trying to get it to stay in there, not squirt about, uh, I guess if you work beforehand, you can kind of get it in there better. But when I tried it, I was in a big hurry, like a big hurry. So uh, I'm just gonna say that was a bit of a, an issue because again, because you can't let your body like when you're in a squat, your body's more like this and needed to make sure it's forward and then make sure your clothes is all out of the way and you're not peeing all over your car. So that's a bit of an issue. But can be avoidable if you use something with a bigger lid like this. Like this would pretty much work pretty perfectly. But if you're using this one, you might as well just take this out of the equation and just stick this under and you can still be lower. This covers everything. Put the lid on it. Oh, I did start thinking though that those like diaper bags that I didn't really like might be of use because then you could use this to go into the diaper bag and then it would gel up so you wouldn't get splashes. And with that, you can totally put this in within the mouth of the diaper bag. So as long as you're not peeing out a gallon, uh, that should work pretty well. But my two favorite solutions for this whole problem are the Pea Buddy from Amazon and just a trail mix jar for the car, for the park or beach toilets that are gross and you don't even want to squat over. This works really well. And it honestly keeps your clothes really dry. So big fan of this Pea Buddy from Amazon. 
Well, thanks for joining me for my TED Talk on, uh, unconventional ways to pee on the go. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.